Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, not a pay to participate. It's an activity fee, and what that activity fee will cover, uh, it'll offset the general uh, accounts for paying for coaches for transportation, any costs related to the activities that that students participate in. So it's not a pay to play. It's a it's an activity fee. Okay, and cheerleaders, I understand, will be uh, charged. They're part of the activities, and uh, yes, they will be charged. Uh, I did go back after the board meeting and look at our two levels of cheerleading, and uh, they are separate sports, uh, one for fall, one for winter, and that's at both levels, middle school and high school. Okay. What about bands? Uh, that is a co-curricular activity, so the board had made a decision not to charge the band because it's related to curriculum. I see. Could fundraisers somehow uh, sponsored by the school offset this $35 fee? They can choose to do that. Um, what we're looking at is uh, those students that are uh, qualify under free and reduced. That's an encouragement for families to, to apply for free and reduced. If they can't afford to pay that, then they can offset that cost. Fundraisers would be able to offset that cost with the, with the uh, school to help any student that might need to, to assistance. As been the former principal of Rosemary Clark and having had fees uh, prior to this, uh, we always found ways that we could help help out and we're always looking for people in the community that would be willing to help a kid out too with those kinds of fees and funds so we can continue to offer those activities. I see. Now will football and basketball players and such be subject to this activity fee? Absolutely. There are activities that are offered outside the school day so they, they get they have to travel, they have to pay coaches, they have to pay official fee, you know, the officials and things to operate those those programs. I see. Now what if a student is injured uh, prior to the beginning of the season? That, uh, we're still kind of in limbo on that. We're looking at that and again, having past experience that I lived under, uh, I'd meet with those parents and see where we are at with it. Most of the time the parents do, we got partway through the season and they get injured. Uh, a lot of times the kids would stay on board and be a manager or be a part of the team. So they just stay with us and we kept that fee. The parents would allow us to keep that fee because the student was still participating and traveling. I see. And obviously uh, no one really knows how much money this could possibly generate. No, we don't know at this time. Uh, you know, the bottom line is and the goal is to keep the activities there for the students, keep them involved in the outside, the school day activities and, and uh, promote good citizenship with them through those activities. I see. Now looking down the road, Dale, uh, once things get better with uh, uh, the economic situation with the uh, Nye, Nye County School District, could we possibly uh, drop this activity fee? Well, that's going to be a board decision. Uh, you know, it always costs money to operate the, the, the programs and, uh, you know, it's just going to be a board decision whether to, to stop that down the road. We hope that we can do that, but again, that's going to be a board decision. Okay, no doubt we'll continue to follow it. Uh, Dale Norton, thanks for speaking with us, sir. Absolutely, always a pleasure.